Welcome to Jesus for All 2, God's Word, Your Daily Bread, for September 9th, 2023. Here, we will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, the Bread of Life, with the goals of hearing all of the Bible by the end of December 2023, increasing our faith, and pleasing the Heavenly Father. For the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, Verse 6 reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17 reads, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Further, Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith and not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. And Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16 through 17, above all, lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the wicked one. Verse 17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And John chapter 15, verse 7 through 8, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Verse 8, By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, so you will be my disciples. And the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 30, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. And Psalm 107, verse 20, He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. And so the words of life that we shall hear today, September 9th, are Psalm 96, verse 1 through 13, from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 1 through chapter 56, verse 12. The New Testament reading will be from the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 1 through verse 31, and from the book of Job, chapter 29, verse 1 through verse 25. All scriptures, unless otherwise noted, are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible. Copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. And there were readings in the introduction today from the Amplified Version of the Bible. I'd like to thank every listener of Jesus for all too. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that your faith is increasing your knowledge of the promises of God and that you are receiving the grace to walk in those promises. I would ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you kindly share Jesus for all too with another. And if you are inclined that you subscribe and I sincerely thank every listener and every subscriber in Jesus name. And now Psalm 96 and it reads O sing to the Lord a new song sing to the Lord all the earth sing to the Lord bless his name proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day verse 3 declare his glory among the nations his wonders among all peoples for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised he is to be feared above all gods for all the gods of the peoples are idols but the Lord made the heavens Verse 6, honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Verse 7, give to the Lord, O families of the peoples. Give to the Lord glory and strength. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. He shall judge the peoples righteously. Verse 11. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all its fullness. Verse 12. Let the field be joyful and all that is in it. Then all the trees of the woods will rejoice before. Will rejoice. Verse 13 and last before the Lord. For he is coming. He is coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Amen. 
And this word, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, is already blessed. As we pray, in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hearers. Hallelujah and glory to God in the highest. And now, the book of Isaiah, continuing today with chapter 55. And it reads, Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Yes, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Verse 2, why do you spend money for that, for what is not bread, and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear, and come to me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. The sure mercies of David, verse 4. Indeed, I have given him as a witness to the people, a leader and commander for the people. Surely you shall call a nation you do not know, and nations who do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God and the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Verse 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Verse 8, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. Verse 11, So shall my word be that goes from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Verse 12, For you shall go out with joy, and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall bring forth shall break forth into singing before you, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Verse 13, Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress tree, and instead of the brier shall come up the myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Chapter 56, Thus says the Lord, Keep justice and do righteousness, for my salvation is about to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, and the son of man who lays hold on it, who keeps from defiling the Sabbath, and keeps his hand from doing any evil. Verse 13. Do not let the son of the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord say, speak, saying, The Lord has utterly separated me from his people. Nor let the Enoch say, Here I am, a dry tree. For thus says the Lord to the Enochs who keep my Sabbaths, and choose what pleases me, and hold fast my covenant. 5. Even to them I will give in my house, and within my walls a place and a name, better than that of sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Verse 6. And also the sons of the foreigner who join themselves to the Lord, to serve him, and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants. Everyone who keeps from defiling the Sabbath, and holds fast my covenant, verse 7, even them I will bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. The Lord God who gathers the outcast of Israel shall yet, says, yet I will gather to him others besides those who are gathered to him. Let me take that again. Verse 8. The Lord God who gathers the outcast of Israel says, yet I will gather to him others besides those who are gathered to him. Verse 9. All you beasts of the field come to devour all you beasts in the forest. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. 
They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Verse 11, yes, they are greedy dogs, which never have enough. And they are shepherds who cannot understand. They all look to their own way, everyone for his own gain, from his own territory. Verse 12, come, one says, I will bring wine, and we will fill ourselves with intoxicating drink. Tomorrow will be as today, and much more abundant. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed. As we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us to hear us. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for your word, for writing it on our hearts and giving us understanding by your Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that we sin not, Lord, against you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. And now, the New Testament reading, continuing today in the book of Romans, chapter 3. The book of Romans, chapter 3. And it reads, What advantage then has the Jew, or what is the profit of circumcision? Verse 2, much in every way, chiefly because to them was committed, were committed the oracles of God. For what if some did not believe? Will their unbelief make the faithfulness of God without effect? Certainly not. Indeed, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that you may be justified in your words and may overcome when you are judged. Verse 5. But if our unrighteousness demonstrates the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unjust who inflicts wrath? I speak as a man. Verse 6. Certainly not. For then how will God judge the world? Verse 7. For if the truth of God has increased through my lie to his glory, why am I therefore still judged as a sinner? And why not say, let us do evil that good may come, as we are slanderously reported, and as some affirm that we say. Their condemnation is just. Verse 9. What then? Are we better than they? Not at all. For we have per previously charged both Jews and Greeks that they are all under sin. Verse 10, as it is written, There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks after God. Verse 12, They have all turned aside. They have, come, they have together become unprofitable. There is none who does good, no, not one. Their throat is an open tomb. With their tongues they have practiced deceit. The poison of asp is under their lips. Verse 14. Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their way. ways. And the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now, we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law. But every mouth may be stopped. Let me take that again, verse 19. Now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, no flesh will be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Verse 21. But now the righteousness of God, apart from law, is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ to all and on all who believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Verse 24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Verse 25, whom God set forth as a propitiation for his blood, by his blood, through faith, to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. To establish at the present time his righteousness, that he might be just and a justifier of one who has faith in Jesus. Verse 27. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? No. By the law of faith. 
verse 28. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith apart from the deeds of the law. Or is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also the God of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Verse 30. Since there is one God who will justify the circumcised by faith and the uncircumcised through faith. Verse 31. And last, do we then make void the law through faith? Certainly not. The law, on the contrary, we establish the law. Amen. And this word, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, is already blessed as we pray in Jesus' name, are every of us the hearers. And in now, the book of Job, continuing today with chapter 29. The book of Job, chapter 29. And it reads, chapter 29. Job further continued his discourse and said, Oh, that I were as in months past, as in the days when God watched over me, when his lamp shone upon my head, and when his light I walked, and by his light I walked through darkness. Just as I was in the days of my prime, when the friendly counsel of God was over my tent. Verse 5. When the Almighty was yet with me, when my children were around me. Verse 6. When my steps were bathed with cream, and the rock poured out rivers of oil for me. Verse 7. When I went out to the gate by the city, when I took my seat in the open square, the young men saw me and hid, and the age arose and stood. Verse 9. The princes refrained from talking and put their hand on their mouth. The voice of nobles was hushed, and their tongue stuck to the roof of their mouth. Verse 11. When the ear heard, then it blessed me, and when the eye saw, then it approved me. Verse 12. Because I delivered the poor who cried out, the fatherless and the one who had no helper. Verse 13. The blessing of a perishing man came upon me. And I caused the widow's heart to sing for joy. Verse 14. I put on righteousness and it clothed me. My justice was like a robe and a turban. Verse 15. I was eyes to the blind, and I was feet to the lame. I was a father to the poor, and I searched out the case that I did not know. Verse 17. I broke the fangs of the wicked, and plucked the victim from his teeth. Then I said, I shall die in my nest, and multiply my days as the sand. Verse 19. My root is spread out to the waters, and the dew lies <coughs> pardon me and the dew lies all night on my branch verse 20 my glory is fresh within me and my bow is renewed in my hand verse 21 men listened to me and waited and kept silence for my counsel after my words they did not speak again and my speech settled on them as dew verse 23 they waited for me as for the rain and they opened their mouth wide as for the spring rain if I mocked at them, they did not believe it, and the light of my countenance they did not cast down. Verse 25, and last for today. I, choose, I chose the way for them, and sat as chief. So I dwelt as a king in the army, as one who comforts mourners. Amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, are every of us the hero. Amen, amen, and amen. And in the name of Jesus Christ, this word is already blessed as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our every of us, the hearers. And Psalm 107 verse 20 reads, he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Father, we thank you for healing us and delivering us today from every destructive thing in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. And now, Psalm 34. And it reads, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My mouth makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble and afflicted hear and be glad. 
O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought inquired of the Lord, and required him of necessity, and on the authority of his word, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him and were radiant. Their faces shall never blush for shame or be confused. Verse 6, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Verse 7, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, who revere and worship him with awe, and each of them he delivers. Verse 8, O oh, taste and see that the Lord, our God, is good, blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied, is the man who trusts and takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, revere and worship him, for there is no want to those who truly revere and worship him with godly fear. Verse 10, the young lions lack food and suffer hunger, but they who seek inquire of and inquire and require the Lord by right of their need and on the authority of his word, none of them shall lack any beneficial thing. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you to revere and worshipfully fear the Lord. Verse 12, what man is he who desires life and longs for many days, that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek, inquire for, and crave peace, and pursue it. Go after it. Verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are toward the uncompromisingly righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. Verse 17, when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their distress and troubles. The Lord is close to those who are of a broken heart and saves such as are crushed with sorrow for sin and are humbly and thoroughly penitent. 19, many evils confront the consistently righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Verse 20, he keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall cause the death of the wicked, and they who hate the just and righteous shall be held guilty and shall be condemned. Verse 22 and last. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants, and none of those who take refuge and trust in him shall be condemned or held guilty. Amen. Thus is the reading of the Psalm 34 in the Amplified Version of the Bible. And we say amen. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. And now let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will bless you at all times. Your praise, O Lord, shall continuously be in my mouth. My soul shall boast of you, my Lord. I magnify and exalt your name forever. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that when I call you here and deliver me from all my fears, in Jesus' name, you saved me out of all my troubles. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, that I have seen that you are good and that I am blessed because I trust you and have no lack. In Jesus' name, because I fear you, O Lord, as it is written, the young lions lack and suffer hunger. But because I, in Jesus' name, seek you, my Lord, I shall not lack any good thing. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. And let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as we hear your word, O Lord, teach us to fear you. Grant us long life, now and into eternity with you. In Jesus' name, Spirit of truth, keep our lips from evil and deceit. Give us, O Lord, in Jesus' name, the grace to seek peace and pursue it. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that by the blood of Christ Jesus, your eyes are on me. And your ears hear my cries, and you deliver me out of all my troubles. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for guarding all my bones, redeeming me, and giving me the grace to always trust in you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah, and glory to God in the highest. In the name of Jesus Christ, may every hearer be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name.